guys, it's Heather and Jessica, and we're just bringing you a little update from our amazing weekend. It was amazing. That's an understatement. We did three states, three shows, like ten artists. <laughs> so anyway, we'll start with Friday. You want to start? Birmingham, Alabama. <sighs> our fourth Brad Paisley show. Oh, you gotta love Brad. Of course, we do. He had this guy open up for him. Um, what was his name? Mm -hmm. Chuck? Chuck? Charles? Chuck? Charles Elliott, that's who it was. <laughs> yep. He opened for Brad. Is that who we were there to see? Who were? Who, what? Yeah, we were there for Chuck. Of course. Yeah. So, anyway, um, just a quick recap of the show. Our seats yeah. sucked. Yeah, but security was amazing. So we ended up second row in front of the catwalk. Basically touching the catwalk. Yeah. Because that's how we roll. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's all in like a daze. <laughs> oh, we went to the meet and greet before the show. Yeah, thanks to the bull. Cause the bull rocks! Yeah. Um, and Chuck asked why they always let us back there. What can we say? We're just awesome. The most amazing part was we definitely got to hang out in Chuck's dressing room. Thanks to me. And we saw everything. And Chuck, if you ever need any grapefruit, just ask. <laughs> we'll, we'll hook you up with some. Or a nut or butter. You know? I think my thing's going to die. Let's see. Friday night. After the Brad show, we did the street team stuff. Handed out the cards like always. Collected email addresses. You know, the usual. Dude, they had cockroaches like this big. They were scary. Very scary. And the bathrooms were whack. I went in there and like every other one was out of order. It was weird. And the, the sinks? It was like a <laughs> spaceship or something. Only in that one bathroom though because I went into the other one and they were regular. It's crazy. Weird. Whatever. Okay. Uh, and the toilet flushed by itself. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> It's called an automatic toilet. No, 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 it wasn't automatic. <laughs> I swear. Okay, anyways, we had two special guests go with us to that show. Hi, Amy and Stephanie. We love you guys. Um, get in the video. Scoot over. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, after the show, we decided to try and drive to Perry, Georgia. <laughs> Big see, mistake. See how far we could make it. Um, the race, the NASCAR race was definitely in Talladega that night. That was fun. So we had to deal with that on the way there. Hotels were booked everywhere. Yeah. And speaking of hotels. We get to our hotel, get a room, check in. The lady was nice and she was going to let us have the hotel until like an extra, the extra night or something like it that. It wasn't even an extra night. What she did was booked us for Saturday night instead of like Friday night so we could have it until Sunday. Yeah. She only charged us one night, so I mean, it worked. Gave us the key, went to the hotel room, put the key in, turned the door on, the door wouldn't open. There was people already in the room. That was scary. At 4.30 in the morning. Yeah. Thought we were going to die. Yeah. It was pretty hilarious, although it wasn't at the time. And we were scared for our lives the rest of the night, basically. Yeah, I mean, you have to take into consideration we were like 30 miles outside of Atlanta, mm. which yeah. wasn't a bright thing to do anyways. Thanks for that one, Amy. <laughs> Love ya. <laughs> um, Saturday. Saturday. Perry, Georgia. Jason Aldean. And Luke Bryan. Mm. Oh, it was amazing. Was it ever. I got a look from Luke Bryan that was hilarious. Luke's wife, an adorable little baby. They were in the row behind us. His whole family was. Like, the two rows behind us were all of Luke's family. So Luke's family was behind us for his set, which was really cool. Security sucked. Big time. We made it up to the stage like six times and then we finally just stayed. But they kept making us go back to our seats, which was ridiculous because everybody wanted up there anyway, but whatever. But the show was amazing. We got to meet Rich Redmond after the show. And I got to talk to Mikey. Yay, that was fun. Um, oh, during the show? Jason performed Asphalt Cowboy, and it gave me goosebumps. Amazing. That was fun. 
Oh my gosh, it was really fun. Jessica here, here tried to, sl to sleep. I can't talk. That didn't happen with the three freaks I was riding with. We had our own little private concert in the car, and they're going to kill me for saying this. Actually, we had two private concerts in the car by Chuck. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I. Okay, so I was woke up at one of the exits, and the first thing I see is this huge, humongous church. I don't even know how big this thing was. It was a beast. It was huge. And so that was the first thing I woke up to. It was wonderful. And there was Cave Road. <laughs> Good old Cave Road. Don't ask. That was quite the experience, too. Yeah. Um, let's see. We made it home about 4.30 in the morning. Well, that was to Amy's. That was just to Amy's. Me and Heather finally made it home. <laughs> Shortly after five. <laughs> and as we're backing out of Amy's parking spot at her apartment, <laughs> there was this little pole. <laughs> and, and I didn't see it, and I kind of hit it. But the it, car is fine. It didn't do any damage. Just a little scratch. Nothing major, you know. No. Anyway, so we slept for a couple hours, got up, and went to Nashville. Yes. And Heather's gone. <laughs> we went to Harley Davidson in Cool Springs, and I got to see some hotties. Well, Jessica did too, but uh, yes, um, it was the Dirk Bentley's Miles of Music for Kids um, Three benefit for Vanderbilt Children's Hospital. So we went to Harley Davidson and we saw all the writers off. Um, Tim McGraw, Tim McGraw, Dirk Bentley, Halfway to Hazard, Charles Kelly of Lady A. Yes. Um, Stormy Warren, Jamie Johnson, I mean Kyle Petty, NASCAR driver Kyle Petty, Warren Brothers. Um, I can't even remember. Montgomery Gentry, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Ira Dean of Trick Pony, formerly of Trick Pony. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, there were just an amazing amount of artists there, and then all the writers. They said there were over fifteen hundred writers there. That's crazy. So we saw all of them off, and then we headed down to Nashville. Nash Vegas! Woohoo! And we went to the riverfront for the concert, where we saw a bunch of artists perform. Uh, well, not all the ones that were named earlier, but most, most of, of them. them. And John Rich, mm, who yes. is the definition of love. <laughs> for Heather, anyway. I was there for Dirks. Which, John, congratulations on your engagement. Yes, congrats. Dirks, congratulations on your baby. Yes, Dirks Bentley and his wife welcomed Evelyn Day on um, Saturday night. Yes. I bet she's a cutie. She has to be. I'm sure. So, Dirks was beyond exhausted during the show, but he put on a rockin' show anyway. It was Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. And you could just tell he was over the moon. He was. It was awesome, though, to be there. The event raised over $275,000. Which is amazing. Um, there's a guitar raffled off for $10,000. And then the cigar, how much did it go for? 1000 Yeah, a cigar went for $1,000. Autographed by Dirks, and it went for $1,000. That's amazing. All to go to Vanderbilt's Children's Hospital. That's awesome. Speaking of the Opry, October 25th. We don't have any shows until October 23rd. Which is Jason Aldean and Lady A. And Eric Durance on the and, same T tour. And Huntsville, Alabama. Whoop whoop. And then two days later, we've got the Grand Ole Opry where we're seeing Craig Morgan, Rodney Atkins. I think we're forgetting somebody. Uh, mm, no? There were a couple other names we don't recognize. Um, who was it? Um, I think Chuck. Charles? Yeah. That guy, yeah. Yeah. Wicks is his last name, I think? Yeah, pretty excited about that show, actually. We have amazing seats. Yes, and it's actually, um, one of the shows is Craig Morgan's induction into the Opry, so that'll be really cool. We're not going to that show, but he'll be at the second show that we will be at, so that will be really cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody there. There's going to be a ton of people coming down for this. Can't wait. People coming from all over the country for it, basically. It's pretty much going to be Chuck's show. Pretty much. Um, I think that's about it. 